How's it going everybody? Welcome to another video. Um, this one's gonna be more of an update video diary kind of thing, but uh, just during while I'm talking and in some of the dead spaces, I am also gonna throw in some footage of me taking self-portraits here at the house. I wanted to make that its own video, but there's only like two or three photos, so I hope you guys enjoy me planning out my shots and taking these photos while I do this update. Earlier this month, I put up a Q&A button on my Instagram, so uh, I didn't get a ton of responses, but I got enough to incorporate it into this video. So let's do those questions and answers really quick. Okay, so the first question that I got is, what is your favorite meal that you've had so far in Thailand? And I'd have to say uh, somtam, which is like papaya salad. This super flavorful, sweet, salty, spicy kind of mix. It kind of melts your face depending on how spicy you get it. I would say, yeah, papaya salad's my favorite. And I have it like probably three or four times a week. All right, the next question is, were you self-taught or did you go to school for photography? I would say, uh, maybe 90% of the time has been what most people would think of as self-taught, which is just critiquing yourself and trying to improve yourself on your own. I did do a two month kind of vocational training type thing. After that, uh, my interest in photography remained, so I just kept going out and shooting, um, you know, taking photos and videos with my friends, and everything has kind of taught me. So, I mean, it's a mix of both, but I think if you don't enjoy photography or whatever your hobby is, obviously you're not gonna go out and do it. So the next question is, what is your recommendation for a good medium format camera? Uh, oh boy, that's gonna be so subjective. Um, but for myself, um, I would probably say the Pentax 67 or the Mamiya 7, just for the form factor, the glass, GA645, you know, it's gonna do everything for you. Uh, you will get 16 shots, which is great. Chris from Zone Focus uses some kind of rolly, so, you know, six by six. Um, TLRs can be fun, I think. Uh, I haven't really tried one myself, but I have a lot of friends that enjoy them. Uh, Joe Greer uses the uh, Yashica Mat, some kind of Yashica Mat TLR. Just going with whatever is at a reasonable price and has the right form factor and the right like glass uh, lens options for you is the best bet but yeah so subjective so you're gonna have to just make up your mind for yourself on that one The next thing that I wanted to talk about in this video is just a quick um, health update <laughs> uh, because I would say this channel is primarily about me and my life, but it's about how photography kind of fits into that. So um, everything will mostly be photography related, but when kind of big things happen in our life, um, I'll definitely share it on this channel. So about a month ago, I started having um, all of a sudden this like anxiety and heart palpitations and kind of a intolerance to coffee to caffeine so yeah I just took a break from caffeine for about a week and a half and then the symptoms didn't quite go away so I went and got you know a, a heart monitor hooked up and did a 24-hour monitoring of my heart to see if there was any irregular beat patterns or anything, and they found nothing. They just they just uh, said it was, you know, normal, normal amount of skipped beats or whatever. Um, so we decided to just let that be how it was, and then if the symptoms got worse or if they came back, um, I could go in for, you know, more tests and echocardiogram and all of that. Well, the symptoms never came back, but I had like a, Kind of tonsil infection kind of thing going on and my lymph nodes started to swell and kind of become hard so I was just checking around to see you know where the soft tissue and hard tissue was and as I got down to my throat here I noticed that there was a really big lymph node right here 
Um, and I went ahead and just scheduled a doctor's visit to see if they could prescribe me antibiotics or something. Well, the doctor's visit came and when he examined everything and got down to here, he kind of had a moment of like nervous laughter, uh, which was not super nice for us to feel. And he's like, you need to get that ultrasound, um, get an ultrasound done on that because that's your thyroid, that's not a lymph node. Um, so we're kind of, you know, not panicking, but we're a little bit worried. And after they do the ultrasound, it came back as a nodule or a, a tumor in my um, thyroid. <laughs> Even just like talking about it again, I get kind of stressed out, but we think that it's likely that whenever I had those symptoms in my heart, it was related to the tumor in my thyroid because your thyroid controls a lot of like heart function and heart rate kind of things. And it seems that having a tumor in your thyroid would probably interrupt your ho hormone production pretty severely. Um, we went and got a second opinion um, from this doctor just to make sure that we were being thorough. And both doctors have recommended that we do surgery to remove my thyroid, that we um, do a radioactive iodine treatment to get rid of all of the remaining tissue, and that we just make sure that it's not cancerous. The doctor did say that it's not likely to have spread anywhere else in my body because it looks self-contained. Um, and we did catch it super early. So they're gonna do surgery and then they'll let us know if there's any ongoing treatment that needs to happen to make sure that I'm 100% cancer free after this surgery. So I'll keep you guys updated on everything related to that. Um, I'm not gonna talk about it all the time, but I'll make sure to update the big events. So let's move on to something a little bit happier. Something that made me super happy this month was receiving Willem Verbeek's new hardcover On the Sunny Side of the Street book in the mail. And yeah, I paid the extra shipping to get it all the way out here to Bangkok. I found it really interesting that so many of the photos don't have any humans in them whatsoever. And I know this has been kind of a big part of his style for a long time. The first like, 10 to 15 pages of the book, we don't see any people, um, but we see all of these spaces that are kind of evidence of their existence and daily lives. I was hoping to see a photo in this book from the time that he came down to Tennessee to make videos with Corey Wolfenbarger and I. And yeah, just to see that, you know, we went up Central Avenue and found this car. I was standing there when he took that photo um, and then it made it into the book. That was just such a huge moment of nostalgia. That was a big highlight from this month was getting his book in the mail. This month I also made some new friends. Uh, their names are Barry and Mai. Yeah, they're just super sweet individuals. They're a couple that lives here in Bangkok. Barry's from the UK, but he travels back and forth. They've introduced us to a place called Hub of Photography, which is kind of a large section of a mall where they put in a printing lab, a photo book library, which is um, very, very nice. So we attended an exhibition there recently and it was called Blue Fantasy um, by a Thai photographer, sort of personally exploring the meaning of religion and origin of religion and uh, traditions and things like that. Um, so yeah, some really deeply personal work from this photographer. They also introduced me to a bookshop called Vasilando, which is in Chinatown. And yeah, I, I went back a couple weeks later and spoke with the owner and uh, looked at their Hong Kong photo book exhibition from the 2018 protests. And I also shared Willem Verbeek's book with the owner since he's been meaning to order some copies to have in stock at the shop. I hope to go back to these places a lot more and continue to become friends with photographers in Thailand. Um, you know, in the midst of all the health stuff and everything, we still have to live our lives. And aside from having the surgery and whatnot, this shouldn't put too much of a damper on 
being able to just live everyday life here. So yeah, I just wanted to share some of those things with you guys as well, some of the happier updates. Thank you for watching, um, for listening to all these updates, and yeah, I really appreciate you guys, so we will hopefully see you in the next video.